Like plenty of poison to me. Yeah. Nine of diamonds on your ten of spades. You seem to know something about the pasteboard. Hmm, a little, but not bragging any. How about a little snug? Don't care if I do. Would you, stranger? Oh, I might. deal instead? Something's missing. Deliver, amigo. Come on, keep coming. Huh? Card shaft and bean pole. Come across. Let's have the other one. I ain't got no more. Honest. Where's that other card, you spabbing horn toad? manner of speech is objectionable, hombre. When anyone suggests there's horn toads in my family tree. Who's coming, Slim? Looks like rangers. Yep, but rangers, all right, in a powerful hurry. All right, boys, bridge. Don't reach for nothing but the sky. We shook them all right. You mind saying what you're so anxious to shake them for? I ain't in the habit of bragging. Mind holding that light? Thanks. Say, you've got a right smart litter of notches on that gun handle. Yeah, and there'd be a heap more. Only out in Arizona, first rate lead slingers don't keep score on engines. Never heard of first rate lead slingers in Arizona. No, in the engine territory. That's where I hail from. He babies cut their teeth in six guns. According to what I hear, the engine territory is where folks go when Arizona gets too rough for them. Just a minute, gents. It ought to be easy to settle this argument. See those clothes pins on that clothes line? Well, you from Indian Territory take the first six. Arizona, you draw on the six in the center, and I'll take the next six. Savvy? Well, how are we going to shoot? 
Separate or all at once? All at once. And the one that knocks his six pins off first is a champion of, well, something or other. Oh, Hold on. Sir. We all go for our guns at once when I count three. All right. One, two, three. What are you little boys trying to do, show off? You're too young to play with real six guns. Put them away before you hurt yourself. I suppose you know those clothes are all dirty again. Maybe you don't know what it's like to have to do the family washing. Uh, I don't reckon we do, miss. Uh, well, you're going to find out. Huh? You too, prune face. All three of you are going to wash those clothes and hang them out again while I boss the job. She's right. Come on, Indian Territory. All right. But I don't need no help from you. You're the one that got us into this mess. No, that won't do. Here, let me show you. Right, now, now turn it over. Hey, hey, watch it! Well, what do you want me to do? Pull it over to you? Ah! ah. Not enough. Here, give it That's all right, bring it here. And some clothes in. <laughs> this is all new to me, miss. Doesn't seem like I got enough fingers. Maybe you have too many thumbs. <laughs> yes, I... Let's hit the leather. Now see what you've done, you clumsy sheep herders. Sheep herders? Why, You can just get busy and do that right over again. My side of the line's all right. Sorry I can't stay and help you boys out, but I've got an appointment. Goodbye, miss. I'm sure they'll do the wash right smart this time. Which one of you is the sheriff of the spread of snake poison cactus? Folks down here claim I am. Then likely you've been expecting me. Out in Indian territory, they call me Sinker Gibbs. Yeah, we've been expecting you. It ain't frequent I talk business with the law, but I don't have no scruples, providing the pay is good and no questions asked. I think we understand each other, Sinker. 
Meet Mr. Morgan, Mr. Jim Morgan. Why, I'm glad to meet up with you, Mr. Morgan. I hear, see, you've got the biggest spread of cattle in southwest Texas. I probably did have before these homesteading squatters started cluttering up the range. That's why... They... Gentlemen, I'm sorry to show up late, but... Maybe you don't mind backing up, Arizona. Me and these gents are having a little private conversation. I ain't aiming to horn him on nothing private. But I don't back up, neither. Unless I'm asked. For life. Just a moment, gentlemen, please. You've both been brought here for the same purpose. What? Then the deal is off. Wait a minute. Just a minute. If you want me to do any shooting, just point your targets and turn me loose. I ain't going to be cluttered up by no useless baggage from Arizona. Why, well, you Indian territory tumbleweed. Gentlemen, please. I take it you're Ramrod Pike. Yeah. I'm Jim Morgan. Howdy. I brought you here. That is, the sheriff brought you to tend to a little matter with the help of the Dogtown Kid. The Dogtown Kid? Yeah. Know him? Not personally, only by word of mouth. The do say is how he cut his teeth on a six gun. That's the one. He's been waiting to see you. Kid, will you come in a minute? Kid, I want you to meet. So you all know each other. Kinda. We repaired a washout together. Chris, pass out them badges, will you? Uh, what's these for? That keeps the law on your side. You boys are now legal representatives of the sheriff. Say, where did you get that ace of hearts? The same place you got your ace of spades. Well, if there's any way to get word to Bob, you'd better have him hurry back here pronto. You really think there's going to be trouble? It looks that way. Joel Jenkins got word today that the survey we all depended on when we filed our homesteads has been rejected. And just what'll that mean? Most likely the new survey will show that we're all squatting on land that we ain't filed on. Jim Morgan has tried every other way to get us off. I suspect he had something like this up his sleeve when he had Chris Bradley appointed to finish out Lim Harden's term as sheriff. You know, Lim wouldn't take orders very easy. Likely that's why somebody murdered him. I don't know just how soon I can reach Bob, but I'll try. If there's going to be any trouble, when do you think it'll start? Well, we're meeting at Joel Jenkins' place this evening. I'll let you know what happened. Don't tell any outsiders about the meeting. I won't. Goodbye. When I come to this country, me and my father, nobody else dared stick their nose south of 34. Engines, coyotes all over the place. We cleaned them out and put in cows. Figured then that the hombre that cleaned out the engines was entitled to the range. No deeds, no leases, no nothing. Man earned what he got, and it was his. That's the way it ought to be now. Why should any parcel of homesteaders be allowed to come in and squat on our range? Shove me and my cows out. Maybe chase us down across into Mexico. Am I right or wrong? It was a thousand dollars you promised to pay me, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Each one of you gentlemen gets a thousand dollars when the last homesteader is on his way out. And you're right. For a thousand dollars, anybody's right. That makes it unanimous. Lobo Joe and his gang. Who is Lobo Joe? 
the honoriest gun tote of this end of Texas, and that's plenty honorary. Oh. What'll it be, Joe? Put everything you got on the bar. You're a mighty good judge of liquor, partner. You mind if I have a drink out of the same bottle? Mm. Here's your health. We're here today and tomorrow. Who knows? Hey, hey, there's plenty of time for drinking. How about amusing ourselves with a little game of cards? Yeah. yeah. What'll it be, stud or draw? Dealer's choice. Hey, partner, how about joining me and my friends in a little poker game? Oh, much obliged. But I don't know nothing about no such pastimes. No? <laughs> Your education has been neglected. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little slow in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. However, I never knowed one card from another. Sure. No? Well, I'm going to teach you plenty. Hey, Charlie, bring us a pack of cards and the poker chips. You know the house rules, Joe. Anyone playing poker must leave their guns at the bar. <laughs> it's a pleasure. All right, boys, strip. Oh. Come on. You'll get your gun back after the game's over. Well, I don't see what shooting has got to do with poker. Nothing, only it's liable to take your mind off the game if there's any shooting. It's fair for one as it is for the other. Here's another one for you, Charlie. <laughs> I guess I plumb forgot all about that one. Maybe I'm like your friend here, a little slow in the head. You know, this is an open game, partner. There ain't nobody barred. I've got a little unfinished business to attend to. Oh, yeah? How about you, partner? I might. Hey, Charlie, there's a couple of more guns for you. always safer to have a full deck, especially in the other man's territory. Come on, let's go. Good luck. Do we split, or do I have to watch you? We split. Over, Duke. Someone's in the store. Hope I ain't kept you waiting long. What do you have, stranger? Well, I kind of wanted to shave. Seems like everything happens at once. Sure as I get a horse to shoe, somebody wants a shave. Just climb right up in the chair. Keeps me jumping between here and the blacksmith shop. I'll get some hot water at the forge. I'll be right back. Don't you cut for dealing poker? I was just trying to save time. Throw them in, boys. Go ahead, you first. Say, is the ace high or low? The ace is high. You deal. Uh, the dealer, and he's a red chip. 
It won't take me long to catch on. Yeah. I can't seem to recollect nothing like it. Well, it can't be more than three miles out and... <clears throat> What'd you say? The house sits back not more than 40 feet from the... <clears throat> There's a clothesline on it. <clears throat> the barn is kind of off northeast. I don't remember such a house. Maybe you can place the girl. She's about 10 or 11 hands high and weighs around uh, 100 and a little on the hoof. What I saw most of was her, was her eyes. Not blue exactly. Maybe a shade off in the direction of green. The nearest thing I've seen to them is the mountains. When you look at them across the desert about, uh, well, about 30 minutes before sundown. You know who she is? Well, maybe I do, and maybe I don't. You know, if a feller does business in Cactus Junction, it's better if he don't know too much about folks. If a body gets too curious, he's liable to find himself mixed up on one side or the other. Oh! I thought that was a mite hot. Did it burn? Oh, no. Just tickle a little. Well, I ought to raise you, but you're too darn lucky. I'll just call. What do you got? Two pair, I guess. <laughs> I know I ought to raise you. Three tens. Wait, wait a minute. Well, maybe I can make something of this. Now I had this pair of kings to start. And I drawed this pair. Of course, that makes two pairs. Now, if it's fair to throw that away, I'll only have three kings left. All right. You win. Oh, much obliged. You got too much luck at drawing cards. Maybe I can beat you cutting them. What do you say? Well, if you think it's fair... Sure it is. Let me have your cards. Go ahead, cut them. And low card wins. Now, who ever heard of a rule like that? We're playing dealer's choice. Yes, but making the low card win ain't ever according to Hoyle. Oh, you heard of Hoyle, eh? Maybe you know more than Hoyle. You heard what he said, he don't know one card from another. Yeah. You bet your life he was playing off dumb. He's a liar and a cheat. Why not? Scramble up in there, boys, and reach for air. As long as I'm deputy sheriff in this backyard of desolation, there's going to be peace and order. Come on. Hurry up. Now get those hands up. It's about time we tried out those badges the sheriff gave us. I'm aiming to lock this bunch of four-flushing bad men in jail. Now you and that other counterfeit deputy, get your guns and trail along with me. All right, get going. It's about time we showed folks who's boss in this territory. But, kid, 
When I made you all my deputies, I wasn't I expecting... caught him red-handed trying to murder these two officers of the law. But that wasn't what but I... But you'll have to take care of him now, Sheriff. The barber is waiting to finish me up. Yeah, I know who you mean, and I tell you he ain't been back here. You say much when he was here? He did do a parcel of asking about some house three or four miles down the road. Anything else? Something about a girl with sunset eyes like a mountain. And a clothesline that was sort of north by east. Say, yeah, that Dogtown kid is plum loco. You've got to saddle up and follow on. Somebody's got to seize in time for the fireworks. Now, you breathe one more to this, and it's the last you ever breathe. Well, I am to keep right on breathing, so I, I haven't seen a soul. Uh. Open your bill. <laughs> That's going to keep you growing till morning. Sorry to be calling so late, ma'am. But if you've got time to listen, I've got some explaining to do. Oh, won't you come in? Much obliged. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, I was just taking care of some orphans. A chicken hawk got their mother this afternoon. When I reached town and looked up that sawed-off gun toter that helped wreck your wife, I found this on him. Seems like he was born with itching fingers. What in the world did he want with it? <laughs> That's the funny part of it. He didn't have any one of it. It's kind of too bad, too. When he sees something that ain't nailed down, he, he just can't help picking it up. Of course, it, he didn't mean any harm, though. Oh, uh, a kleptomaniac. No, he, he's half Cherokee. Maybe I can help. Maybe. That worked fine. Because I got two hands to hold them with, and like this. They think the top hand is their mother squatting over them. Yes. Oh, we're almost finished. There's only one left. Funny little critters, aren't they? Uh-huh. This one here is going to get his tail feathers cold. We've got to do something about that one. Maybe you better turn the cloth the other way around. You know, I, I boarded at a place once where they had ten children. That's where I learned a lot about making ends meet. Oh, so that's how you qualify as a family man. Well, I wasn't trying to recommend myself exactly. However, I wouldn't shy off from the job none, provided, of course, I had the right partner. Oh, you want a partner? Well, now, I should think with your education that... But any woman would be at a disadvantage. That is... Unless you found one who had also bought it with ten children. Maybe ten wouldn't be absolutely necessary. One or two might be enough to kind of break in with. Excuse me a second. I'm coming, darling. The 
There's somebody at the door, ma'am. See who it is. I'll be right there. Oh. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Uh, could I speak to you sort of private-like? Surely. Would you mind holding the baby for just a minute? What's the matter, sir? Well, us homesteaders want you to come over to the meeting for a while. Real important, but I... This is awful important. All right. I'll tell your horse for I'll you. I'll be right out. Oh, uh, would you look after the baby while I go out? I won't be long. Well, I... I guess, uh, Maybe... Sir, if I'm not back by 4 o'clock, give him his dinner. But be sure it's warm to body heat. The body heat? Thanks, terribly. Quiet down, old timer. Do you have to cry all the time? His horse, all right. What's that? Well, it sounds like a sick cat. Who is it? That's him. Come on. Well, I'll be horn swaddled. The Dogtown kid's done winged a stork. This ain't no kid of mine. I'm just minding it. Well, you better get your mind where it belongs. We've got a job to do in Pronto. Well, I can't leave the kid until his ma gets back. And where's his father? I don't know. Maybe they ain't got none. You trying to say this kid ain't got a father? Well, maybe he's dead. Folks have got a way of dying young this far south. Well, what is he crying about? About all the time. Say, how do you stop a kid from crying? Who, me? Well, I, I guess you get his mind switched. Like this. Yeah, take a try. Any kind. Hey, what are you trying to do? Scare him to death? Huh? Uh, I'd hear tell if you sing to him. Sometimes they go to sleep. Well, it can't be any worse. Here. Hop to it. It was down in the Lehigh Valley. Me and my partner alone. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you can't sing no barroom songs to a kid. That's the only kind I know. Yeah. yeah. Just, just hang on to him. Hey, look your old timer. <coughs> Why, the little son of a gun talker. Why, he's a natural born lead slinger. Let him take it. Say, who do you think you are, Billy the Kid? I bet when he grows up, he'll chase a parcel of us across the Rio Grande. Mm. Gosh, it, it's feeding time.
You can't find hide in a hair of them. Got any ideas? None that helps. They seem satisfied with the money I offered them. Yep. I don't think it's the money. Oh, I don't know what it is. All we can do, just wait and see if they come back. Well, suppose they don't come back. Listen here, Chris. This job's got to be done tonight. If worse comes to worst, there's always Lobo Joe. Lobo Joe. The point is, Miss Henley, if Morgan and Bradley start anything, they'll most likely hit for your brother's homestead first. It being closest to town. But what'll they do? Try to drive you off and take possession. Claiming the new survey robs Bob of all right to his place. Then they'll try to give the rest of us the same medicine. That's why we've decided to band together before they get the jump on us. I know, but what can I do? Give us permission to barricade ourselves in your house. That's where we aim to make our first stand. Only since it's your brother's rights we'll be protecting, you'll have to do the order. But I... Well, do you think there'll be bloodshed? We're hoping not. But our minds is made up. We don't aim to lose our land without a battle. We'll ride over as soon as Smith and Leonard show up. When they see we're standing together, they'll likely back down. Don't you worry. I won't. Well, what'd you find out? Well, here's how it looks now. They're all set to start things popping. According to what they say in town, Bradley's swearing in a whole parcel of deputies. Who's he getting? Three strangers, mostly. Two gun toters who rode in this afternoon. Folks say they're plenty tough. First off, they tangle with Lobo Joe and shove him and his whole gang into lockup. Lobo Joe? What'd they jump on him for? Just a personal quarrel. Started over a card game. But anybody that can jug Lobo Joe ain't gonna be good medicine for us to take. You got any idea who they are? Nope. Ain't anybody ever seen him in this part of Texas before. They must be professional gunmen, though. The kind that makes killing their business. Looks like those three deputies Chris brought in to do the job has run out on him. Don't know what happened. They just naturally disappeared. We thought maybe you and your men would like to take their place. What'd you say you'd pay? I was to give them $1,000 a piece. You get the 3000 3000 ain't so bad. What do you say? Oh, yeah. yeah. But first, I'd like to see the 3000 Oh, you don't need to worry none about that, Joe. He's got the money already drawn out of the bank. Yeah, it's home in my safe. You'll get it when you finish the job. Why don't we start? Right away. All right, you bet. All right, boys. There's your guns over there. Put up your hands. Get back in that cell. Go on, get back. Joe. Now, write the combination of that safe where you got the money. And don't make any mistake. We'll go on to his ranch. There ought to be plenty of money in that safe outside of the 3,000. And also, he's got a fine bunch of cattle that we can take with us over the border. Do you want to wake up the baby? We just got the little fella to sleep. 
Well, do you want him to kill himself? Why, it's the only way we could get him quiet like this. Besides, his little trigger fingers ain't strong enough to fire any of them cannons. Yet. Maybe we'd better put him in the bedroom while he's still asleep. All right. Slip out as quietly as you can. How did you ever get out of the crazy house? Come roaring into town, shooting close pins, and let a midget lift your guns. Well, put up I... your hands. Hurry up, or I'll shoot. But miss, if... stay where you are. Put up your hands. All right, now put your guns on that table. Put them on the table. All right, pull the rug to one side. Open that trap and go down one at a time. First, prune face. Go ahead. But, Miss, you should let us know what this is all about. Hurry up. Maybe you're awfully tough. Most professional killers are. Just a minute, ma'am. Maybe we can... Maybe you can scare the life out of Lobo Joe, but we homesteaders are not afraid of you. You're going to stay down there until the homesteaders come, and they can do what they want with you. Them horses look very familiar. Regus, you keep an eye on them. See, nobody gets away with them. Juan, Pete, you come on with me. Here come the homesteaders now. They'll probably string you up. It'll serve you good and right. What do you want? Where are these men? I don't know. It ain't healthy to lie to Lobo Joe. Lobo Joe? Huh? The sheriff just hired us to take over a little job that they forgot to do for him. Where are they? Uh, they've gone. And forgot to take along their horses and their guns? <laughs> They're here, all right. You and Juan watch the girl. I'll take a look around.
Hey, come here. <laughs> Look, they got a partner. Look at the bad man. A two-gunner if I ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> got to get away, quick. And leave you here with Lobo Joe and his gang? You can ride for help to the Jenkins cabin about two miles up the road. Now hurry. Maybe they'll follow me if I can get away. Here, you and Ramrod get back down there with the lady. Maybe you can hold them off till I get back. Hey, what is this? One got away. Stay right here till we find the others. I think they're hiding down there. Looks like the rats are in a nice trap, huh? <laughs> so that's it, eh? That'll teach you a lesson. Give it the slip. We better hightail it back to Lobo Joe's. I wonder what's keeping Smith. If he don't show up pronto. Lobo Joe's got a woman and a couple of hombres cornered in that first cabin down the road. Lobo Joe's in jail. He was in jail, but he's plenty out now. That's a Dogtown kid, one of Morgan's hired killers. Are you sure? Positive. Wait a minute. I'm not having anything more to do with Morgan. Now listen, we've got to hurry before Lobo Joe's gets Don't believe him, folks. It's a trap set by Morgan and Bradley. Listen, I'm telling you the truth. Let's show Bradley what we do with hired gunmen. Grab him. Come on, get him, boys. Oh, no, you don't.
Come on, we wasted enough time. We got other work to do. It's a trick. They're trying to fool us. We'll take the kid along with us. He likes guns. Maybe he'll turn out to be Lobo Joe the <laughs> second. <laughs> They are not. Stop! I'll shoot the first man. That I get the other fella, then we go on to Morgan's ranch. Get back down there, quick. Come on out of there. I got you covered. Come on. better dig out of here. There goes the rest of his outfit. Come on, we'll get them too. We're going to give the Dogtown Kid a necktie party. Why, you you can't do that. He just saved us all from Lobo Joe. Lobo Joe? Then he was telling the truth. Of course I was. As much as you'd give me a chance to. 
Cute little shaver, when he's quiet like. Well, I guess I'd better be going. You really have to go? I've got the report back to the Rangers. Rangers? Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that rather risky with a price on your head? A price on my head? Well, everyone knows there's a reward, dead or alive, for the Dogtown Kid. Oh, I see. Well, that calls for a little explaining. You see, I came here under false colors. They sent me out to arrest the Dogtown Kid, and I told him to put up his hands, and, well, he reached for his guns instead. Well, when they found the body, they found a letter on him from Chris Bradley, your sheriff. So the Rangers wanted to know why the sheriff was carrying on confidential like with, with such a notorious outlaw as the Dogtown Kid. So I take the kid's place to come here and find out. Oh, I'm glad. Glad? Yes. That you happened to come here at such a handy time. Oh. Your husband will have to pretty nigh build the cabin over to make it look right again. Husband? Well, I haven't any husband. Oh, I see. Dead. No, I, I never had a husband. <laughs> well, this baby belongs to my brother. He and his wife are visiting in Fort Worth, so I'm trying to take care of him. Oh, of course. Funny. I never thought of that. Well, I reckon I'd better be going. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, and thanks again. Goodbye. Well, are you going far? No, I, I think I'll be in this territory pretty much of the time now, and, and if I... I said, if I... Uh, I'd be in this territory pretty much of the time now, and, and if you don't mind, I, I'd like to drop by and see if everything is all right. I'd like you to. Honest? Honest. Well, then you can count on me being just about a steady caller. <laughs> 